Hey guys, Sam Smith here. I'm out on the ice and I got another installment of Tackle Hacks coming at you. I am out on the ice today, soaking some big minnows underneath tip-ups, looking for walleyes, northerns, whatever is a willing participant today. Um, I've had zero bites so far in a matter of about five hours and numerous spots, so that's always encouraging. Um, but I want to share with you a little tip today about tip-up fishing. So here's what I'm talking about. Um, if you look out here, um, I'm like probably many other people, I have lots of various trinkets and coffee mugs and various items rolling around my car. So if you look out here, that's a coffee mug um, marking one of my tip-ups. If you look over here, I've got a what would be a tube of bearing grease that was rolling around the back of my car. That's marking one of my other tip-ups. If you shoot over here, let's see if that focuses in. Boom, we got a half-used jug of 5W20 motor oil. So um, what I'm doing is I'm not littering uh, necessarily. That's not my goal. My goal is not to harm the environment. What those are doing for me are providing landmarks to where my tip-ups actually are. I know I in the past have had trouble um, sometimes keeping track of where I place my tip-ups and leads to some sort of anxiety. This for me is just a way to know for sure that I do not have a fish on. So uh, if you were, are interested in not catching any fish at all and for sure knowing that you're not catching any fish, I uh, encourage you to take various things rolling around your car and just place them next to your tip-ups as physical markers so you can scan quicker, have less anxiety, and know for certain that you're not gonna catch a fish. That's today's Tackle Hacks.